Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery here. We get together most weekday mornings at 8 o'clock Central, talk about strategies, tips, techniques, share success stories, and support each of you. Again, just a reminder, we have two types of Zooms held on a daily basis. We have this Zoom in the mornings, 8 o'clock Central, and it is mostly oriented towards our distribution partners. And then we have a different set of Zooms for clients and prospective clients. Now, again, we're very transparent. Anyone is welcome to attend uh, any of the Zooms, but just keep in mind, we have separate Zooms actually scheduled multiple times throughout the day for those of you that are looking for funding for your own business. So with that being said, let's address today's topic, which is let's take a deep dive into the Fundable Shelf Corporation. We have had an amazing market response to this packaging, this approach. So let's step back for a moment at the big picture. What is it that you and I do? What you and I do is we help small business owners improve their business financial literacy. And secondly, we help them apply that knowledge to access capital. Because I think you would agree, there's absolutely no shortage of people that would like money to start or grow a business. That's prevalent. However, most of them aren't qualified. So it doesn't matter how badly they want or need money, they don't qualify. Like a mortgage, right? You could really, really, really want to buy that million dollar house down the street from you. But if you don't qualify for the mortgage, it doesn't really matter how badly you want it. But if you qualify for the mortgage, you close on the house and you move your family in. Same with business funding. If you qualify for the business loan, you get the money. And that's really what you and I do through this model is help people legally and ethically qualify for business funding. Uh, Jeanette's checking in. She is in Tampa, Florida. She survived a Category 3 evacuation zone B. Uh, thank goodness for that, Jeanette. Thank you for joining us. And all of you that are coming on a minute or two late, we were just sending out our thoughts and prayers to everyone impacted by the, the weather. Okay, so everyone should have seen this flyer before that's shared on my screen. If not, it's okay. You're going to see it now. Everyone should have a copy of this that you can edit and put your information at the bottom. If you don't have that, what are you going to do? You're going to call Madison or you're going to email Madison and say, Madison, I need that flyer. Now, we talked yesterday about two different roles. We talked about the affiliate role versus the white label partner. Affiliates just simply refer into the landing page that we give them for free and they get paid for conversions. That's all affiliates do. And in, in fact, we said the less talking that affiliates do, probably the more money they'll make because they're really just a conduit to create awareness and drive people in. And then in contrast, also yesterday, we talked about the role of the white label partner, which is the other end of the continuum. White label partners are very involved, they're actually explaining the proposition. They're doing the needs analysis. They're getting the client under contract, collecting payment. So two very different roles. So if you don't feel that you're in the right role or you need help with that, what are you going to do? We call Madison because we, we want you to be successful. We want you to be in the right role. But our topic today is this flyer, which of course describes the Fundable Shelf Corporation. This ties back to my point. What is it we do? We build financial literacy and we, we increase access to capital. Well, this flyer should actually do both. It should actually help increase awareness of what does it take to have a fundable business because there's actually a bulleted list right here. A lot of people don't know this and a lot of people don't have this and that's what keeps them from getting funding. We'll go through it together. So again, this flyer, uh, I like it. I hope you like it. It works well to tell the story. You should have a copy of it. You might want to be using it with your outreach, and you can change the contact information at the bottom. But let, let's go through it. We'll zoom in on it. If, if we send you an editable version, 
which we, we will obviously just ask Madison for one. I, I don't know. If you're an affiliate, I don't think you should make any changes to it. But if you are a white label partner, you can make whatever changes you want. So keep that in mind. All right. So fundable shelf corporation program, fast and easy access to business funding. First off, we want to address, well, who is this for, right? Because we've talked about in other discussions, with any business model, you need to know who is your target market. Well, we're looking for entrepreneurs who need funding, and we understand that if we want to have access to funding, we need to have a fundable business, and that can be accomplished by the buy or the build equation. And many of you remember back to Intro to Business or Business 101 that you took as an undergrad back in college. We learned about the buy versus build equation. This is true in many things in life. It's true in many aspects of business. And it's certainly true with obtaining a fundable business. And the great news is you and I can help them either way. So if they want just simply turn key, they can buy an established business, a fundable shelf corporation, or if they don't want that, that's okay. We can help them build that. So this is called the four-week business funding program. And of course, this is re re relating to the shelf corporation, our discussion today. It doesn't change what it takes to have a fundable business, which we'll be going through in a minute. So what it takes to have a fundable business is the same. There's just two ways that you and I can help them solve their problem. One of which is to get a shelf corporate corporation and have an instant fundable, instantly fundable business, or we could help them create one. Obviously, what we do is legal, it's affordable, it's fast, and it's guaranteed. So those are some pretty nice buzzwords right there, but let, let's drill down into them. So from a legal perspective, this is a legal and ethical program. From an affordability perspective, it's better than just affordable. It's literally free, because if you remember, they buy a shelf corporation, and we reimburse them the cost of the shelf corporation. So it's more than affordable. It's actually free in the end. It is certainly fast because with the Shelf Corporation, all of this exists. They're, they're getting this package, which I'll go through in a moment, versus us needing to build it. When we build it, it takes about a month, 28 days. When they buy it, we can do it essentially instantly. And there are no risks. We guarantee anyone that purchases a Shelf Corporation through us or through you, we guarantee them funding. We guarantee them a minimum of 100000 Now, if they want more, we can pursue more. But the guarantee, just for clarity, is specifically for 100000 So those are some pretty good buzzwords. So sometimes some of you say, hey, I need help with advertising content. How, how do I promote this? Well, I think this flyer probably has everything that you could need. Just excerpt the sections that you want from it. So continuing on, we can legally and rapidly assist you in buying, which means the shelf corporation, or building, which means the four-week funding program, a fundable business to access 100,000 to 5 million. Now, is 5 million the true max? No, it, it's not the max, but borrowing more than 5 million becomes a lot more difficult. And as you know, we all came from the SBA and SBA loans cap out at 5 million. So are we limited to just SBA loans? No, not at all, but it, it's a big part of what we do. So this, this is our normal range. And, and our sweet spot now is typically 1 million to 5 million, but we can go as low as 100,000. It's just when it's small deals, you know, it's the same amount of work for us and for the client to get a small amount as it is a large amount. So in many cases, it's um, it's better for us all to do a larger amount. But again, we guarantee, we guarantee. Okay, so now let's get into the bread and butter of the flyer. The Fundable Shelf Corporation provides an affordable and effective solution for entrepreneurs who are looking for a turnkey business ready to apply for business loans within days of enrollment. 
rather than building a fundable business, which is the four-week funding program, a fundable shelf corporation already has the key fundability factors as outlined to the right. We're going to go through those in just a moment. Once you enroll, we'll need about one week to fulfill your order, allowing us to assist you in applying for business funding immediately thereafter. And this is a, a, a real and accurate timeline. So let's say that you help someone get a shelf corporation today, which the day of the recording day is Thursday, then we would be ready next Friday, a week from tomorrow, to apply for funding. So on the eighth day, we are ready to apply we need seven days to fulfill the order, which we'll talk about again in a moment. Your new business will have $100,000 legally posted on your balance sheet, creating collateral and liquidity for your startup business. Then we can then assist you. So what we provide is, is what's needed to have a fundable business, but some of what we provide is unmatched in the marketplace. So the fact that we have a legal program, that's great. The fact that it's free, with the reimbursement from the grant is incredible. And then the fact that we're actually giving them 100,000 as part of the participation, which I'll go into more in a moment, is, is just, it, it's almost a no brainer. Many of you that I talk to that are really knowledgeable in this space, you say it's pretty much too good for a client to pass up. Now, can we still build for them? Sure. But if they don't have these elements or if they're missing many of these elements, it makes sense for them just to keep their current business as it is and use a shelf corporation for the capital raise. All right, so let's drill into what's included. Now, I want to answer any and all of your questions. So we use the question and answer box for Zoom. It's like a chat box. So if you have questions, type those in. And let's make sure that when you leave today's Zoom that you are proficient in understanding what this model is and how it works. Now, again, if you're an affiliate, the less talking you do, the better. Introduce it, feed them into your landing page, and let the closers take care of it. If you're a white label partner, then this you really need to know because you're the closer. So just keep in mind, depend upon your role. Okay, so what's included? Now, when we put this together, we put it together based upon input from business bankers, SBDC, SBA advisors, SCORE mentors. So essentially, we put an advisory group together and said, what's needed? What's needed? And, and that's what's included. So let's go through what's included. So obviously, it includes a business entity, you know, a corporation. Because if we're trying to get business funding, we need to have a business entity. We also need to have, of course, an EIN that's unique to that business entity. So uh, this is filed and in good standing with the Secretary of State. All of our shelf corporations are filed under SIC code 8742, Business Management Consultants. Let's talk about the what and, and the, the why of that. So... Different industry codes have different risk factors. So if you wanted to go out and start a strip club, you could higher risk, right? Harder to get funding. So we went to the other end of the continuum and we've chosen an industry code that is lowest risk. But keep in mind, that does not limit the owner of the shelf corporation for providing whatever services he or she wants. Just because the industry code is this, which it is, that doesn't preclude them. It doesn't prevent them from offering whatever services or goods that they want to. So some people don't understand that, but that is the SIC code. And then, of course, the purchaser, the client, is 100% owner. So this is the first deliverable for the shelf corporation which is crucial, right? Because what we're doing is solving a problem, helping people have a fundable business, and it has to start with this. If you don't have this, nothing else on the list matters. Any questions or concerns on that? Romeo said, good morning, Romeo. Romeo mentions that uh, he, he really likes the fact that the purchase price of the shelf corporation is refundable. Yeah, I mean, that that makes it incredibly valuable, right? So certainly the client will buy a shelf corporation from you if you're a white label partner or from the assigned closer if you're an affiliate and referring them in, but they get that amount back. 
Okay, let's move on. I don't think anyone had any questions on the relevance of that. We also include a business plan. And so the business plan is what we'd consider a lender compliant fundable business plan. So it addresses what the services are going to be from a consulting perspective. It has the 36 month financial projections. It's the business plan that's needed for funding. Any questions on that? All right, it includes a unique commercial address because addresses matter. When we have a fundable business, a fundable business needs to have a unique commercial address. What doesn't work is a residential address or a post office box or a shared virtual address. So we know that's important. So that's included. And then the mail is forwarded on a weekly basis every Wednesday. Free business website. Of course, to have a fundable business, we need to have a web presence. And so we include that for free, includes a branded email account. The last thing that we want to do is go to funding with someone that's using an AOL or a Hotmail or a Gmail email for their business. Some people aren't as sophisticated as you and they think, okay, I'll take Gmail, but I'll put something in front of the at gmail.com and now it's a business email. You and I know that's bullshit. You could say my company at gmail.com and that's not a business email. It's a personal email. So this is important and that's included. That's why all these things are free. They're included. Any questions on the website? So we're providing the URL. We're providing the SSL certificate. We're providing the hosting. I mean, it's it's turnkey. That, that When we say it's a turnkey business, it is. All right, business financials are also important. And one of those business financials is the balance sheet. The balance sheet reflects assets and liabilities of the business. Often when clients come to us, they want business funding, but they often aren't fundable. They often aren't qualified. And they may be missing any of these or several of these elements, but many of them are suffering from what we call a collateral shortfall. So the amount of money that they want to borrow is greater than the amount of collateral that they have to pledge. Since we know that that's often an issue, we address that immediately. So we literally create legally and ethically a balance sheet, and we also put on it 100000 which I'll talk more about on the next uh, bullet. Also, we'll help create a profit and loss. And if they want, we can add daily deposits. So the daily deposits are really an ingenious part. So it's real. We're actually going to put $1,000 a day into their business. Why would you want that? Well, of course, it's real money that they have to spend. But from a, a fundability perspective, a business that has cash flow is more fundable than a business that doesn't. And the more cash flow that a business can document legally and ethically, the more money it can borrow. So this is an important part that is included. Now, this was a, a big one because some people look at this and it kind of blows their minds like, well, that doesn't even make sense, but it, it's true. So part of the package, which is included, is we transfer over $100,000 of collateral. Does that mean, oh, we're just transferring 100,000 of cash? No, I didn't say that. I didn't mean to infer that if that's what you assume. We're gonna transfer over assets of $100,000 in the form of accounts receivables, real, real accounts receivables. So now we can put those on the balance sheet and those count according to generally agreed upon accounting principles, GAAP. Those count as current assets, so they work as collateral. And then as we mentioned over here, we can then turn around and help them liquidate those receivables. Now, if they need more than just 100,000 of collateral, we can go much higher. From a credit improvement perspective, there are different lenders and some lenders don't care about personal credit, some do. For an SBA loan, we're, we're normally needing between a 140 and a 165 FICO. But if we have an instance where a client that is purchasing a shelf corporation doesn't have enough credit worthiness for the type of funding that the client wants, then we'll take care of that for them. And that's free. 
So who has questions regarding this value proposition? Because if, if you stop for a moment, pause for a moment, and understand what we're providing, it's an incredible value. It's going to allow the business to be fundable, which is the end goal. Plus, as Romeo mentioned, it's the ultimate affordable solution because they get their money back, but they keep all of this, right? They get their money back, but they keep all of this, and then we're able to go to funding. So questions, comments, concerns, again, uh, you'll edit the bottom so it has your information. If you're an affiliate, we provide each of you a free landing page. And if you're a white label partner, then you have a personalized landing page. That's probably where you want to drive people to, but you could drive them to your phone number or to your email if you want. But normally you would want to drive people to your landing page. And we've had different discussions on that. That's not our point today. Yeah, Romeo brings up the good point. Uh, it, it only takes a thousand down to get a fundable shelf corporation. So with a thousand down, out of pocket, then we're able to get financing for the rest, uh, implement, get them funding, liquidate the receivables. And then uh, once they have gone through funding, then they get the, the refund back for the shelf purchase. That's right, Romeo. All right, so who has questions, comments, concerns? Uh, as far as, as leads, I mean, that's, that's kind of what you bring to the table, right? So you're either an affiliate, which means that you're a lead generator, simply put, or you're a white label partner, which means you're a closer. So we have affiliates that go out and create awareness and generate leads. And then those leads come into our closing team, our closers to close them. So it's great. And you can be in both capacities. If uh, you're asking about how to get leads, well, there's a million different ways to get leads. We can talk about a few of, of the most frequent. So let me put the, uh, the notepad back up here. And let's uh, shrink it down so it fits. And let's talk about top lead sources. So one of which we've talked about is getting turned down. You can get turndowns from MCA agents, from business bankers, from loan brokers, but turndowns are especially, especially lucrative because here are people that are looking for business funding. They didn't qualify. You're getting a handoff from wherever they had applied originally, and then we can improve their fundability through a shelf corporation and then get them back to the referral partner for the funding. And then you could even also do a revenue share with them if you want. So turndowns are definitely great. Another key area would be key influencers. So this could be faith-based leaders, uh, accountants, bookkeepers, executives of chambers of commerce or business organizations, because they have a sphere of influence over a group of people. So if they understood how this worked, we could set up a revenue share with them. They spread the word and they have more of the ear of their audience than you would have. You could go out and purchase leads. You can Google and it's not very hard to find um, small business loan leads if you wanted, for example. Going out and, and teaching Educating is great. Now, that's something that our affiliates don't do, but that's something that our white label partner certainly could do. So we have educational material that you could use. You could teach at libraries or churches or community organizations or, or uh, many different types of, of groups and outings. And, and so that's a great way to generate awareness. A really nice niche is targeting newly formed businesses. So it's public information when a new DBA has been filed or a new corporation has been filed. And so you can get access to those newly formed businesses and reach out to them because the chances are they do not have what's needed. And especially a valuable 
subsection of those are home-based businesses. So we've had separate trainings where we showed you where you can identify every home-based business in the United States, whether they're new or if they've been around. Well, you know that they probably need funding because most businesses do. And you know if they're home-based, they've got a problem because they don't meet the, the commercial address requirements. Now, off just off the cuff, you don't know what other of these elements they have or need help with, but the location of their business is public data so we can figure out who doesn't have a good address and then approach them. So yes, and, and so as far as uh, finding home-based businesses, let me pull up that website for you. It used to be called uh, Sales Genie, but I'll put it on the, the page because some of you are asking. So let me uh, find the website and give that to you here. Because it was called, for a while, it was called Reference USA. And I think they rebranded as Sales Genie. But if, if you look up either of those, I'm, I'm a little slow to reference USA Sales Genie. Let's see if I can get you the URL for that. Yeah, it looks like it's salesgenie.com. So there's different places to get leads. But I, if you discredit this, I'll, I'll fight you on it. And, and why I say that with a smile on my face is, so we have we provide addresses for lots of businesses. That's a fact. So their mail comes through our office so we know what mail they're getting. We don't open their mail, but we, we receive it, we sort it, and we forward it. I can tell you just this morning, we've received over a thousand pieces of mail from a couple national companies that, that this is what they do because we see that mail come through. So this, this works. If you don't believe it, you're wrong. You could do a postcard mailing. You could do a, an email blast. You could do a text blast. But yes, that works. But that, that requires some outlay to implement. Uh, there are other ways to get leads that we've seen work really well. BNI, which is business networking international. So that's a networking group, a little bit more hands-on, a little bit more involved. The, the, the key to remember though, as we talked about yesterday, is if you're, you got to figure out what role you want to be in. Affiliates just simply generate leads into their landing page, get paid. They don't do anything else. The less that an affiliate talks, the more money they'll make. Because since the affiliate's not closing, a closer has to be involved. And the last thing that a closer wants is to pick up a lead from an affiliate that the affiliate chatted, chatted, chatted with, set some missed expectations, anything that could disrupt the close. So if you're an affiliate, you want to get the lead, say as little as necessary, get them into, the, into your landing page. As a white label partner, you can certainly generate your own leads or get leads from others, but then you're closing deals. So uh, if you need help with becoming uh, an affiliate, call Madison, you know, real person, ready to talk to you. If you need, you want to be one of our closers, like Romeo was asking about, call Madison. It's, it's not that difficult, but our white label partners are our closers, our affiliates are our lead generators. If you figure out which role you're in, because I, I see those of you that are that, that are the least successful, you typically don't have clarity of what your role is and you muck it up. Affiliates that want to chat, 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 don't want to chat, chat, chat. Affiliates generate awareness, drive into the landing page, let the big boys close the deals. Chatty affiliates kill deals. Okay, and, and there's other ways, but, but just some of you were asking about some of the top lead sources. But without a doubt, this is number one. And I believe it was Greg. And again, I, I gave him kudos for being with us this morning after suffering a horrible night with a hurricane. Greg did this. We, we trained on it a week or two ago. 
Greg reached out to, I believe, two different MCA brokers, Merchant Cash Advance brokers, and uh, I'm hopefully stating this correctly. I'm attempting to. One of those two agreed to give him their turndowns. One of those two already sent him over a thousand leads, over a thousand leads. So this is great because you're getting people that are that are hungry, that are looking for funding, and they have been turned down. But we love imperfect people, right? What you and I do, we love working with imperfect clients because what do we do? We help them have a fundable business. All right, so we're running a bit long. Any questions, comments, concerns, anything that anyone has that I can help you with uh, today before we, we wrap up? Uh, again, if you have questions, give Madison a call. She's kind of your first line of, of communication. If you don't like talking to Madison for some reason, you can email her. And then uh, cheapshelfcorporation.org is just an example of a landing page it's the landing page we use internally, but we provide each of you a free landing page. It's important to have a landing page to drive people to because that puts them in your sales funnel and then it allows drip marketing. So if you don't have your landing page, you got to call Madison or email her. I'm sorry, or email her, but I would call her, talk to her. She'd love to talk to you. All right. With that being said, we'll be back. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully today, you understand what it means to um, to present the Fundable Shelf Corporation. We don't need to oversell it. We don't need to exaggerate. We don't want. We don't need to make it too good to be true. This is an extraordinary value, and they're able to get into it for a thousand out of pocket, of which you make half up front. So you make five hundred today. And then we'll get financing for the rest of the shelf corporation that gets you the rest of your, your payout. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. We'll see you back tomorrow morning. Let us know what we can do for you. Bye-bye.